Hey guys, real quick, I want to do a walkthrough of our travel trailer. This is a 2022 and we've had it almost a year. We've been camping numerous times. We've camped at the beach, we've camped at the mountains and the Smoky Mountains. We've camped at full hookups and we've camped dry camping. And this camper meets our needs throughout. This is a 2022 Flagstaff Classic 832 BWS. This is the bunkhouse version of the travel trailer and we are extremely happy with it. So this thing is 36 feet, eight inches in length. It's 9,600 pounds dry. And I tow it with a 2005 Ford F-250 6.0 diesel. So like I said, we've had this thing almost a year. I figured after I've used it a little bit, I'll show it to you. And then later on, I'll show you another video of all the upgrades. So I'll start on the outside and then we'll go inside. Check it out. Okay guys, we will start here at the door and work our way around. It does have a 110 hook up there a plug this is for the tv to plug up the tv it does have a little table that it comes with we've never used all of this you can also hook a tv here now i don't have a tv for this all the windows are frameless and they're tinted right here solar powered you plug up solar here it does have a solar panel on top it come with one here's how you retract and extend the stabilizer jack there are psx2 dual motor power stabilizer that is to stabilize the travel trailer to keep it from rocking so much it is not intended to lift the trailer up you will damage something if you try docking lights that's here for the front now i have my generator up here so that kind of kills some of that this is a trailer tray did not come with with the travel trailer that's my generator did not come with the travel trailer so i've added all that and i'm modifying this different video all that a different video so this is a lippert chassis and it did come with two 30 pound propane tanks also has this nice feature also has a smart jack came came with the trailer and again dual motor that's a pretty cool feature all the stats are right here in the vent and everything it is 9,600 pound dry so this is the slide for the queen bed up front. All the slides come with slide toppers. An excellent feature. We had that on the old travel trailer. And you don't have to worry about a bunch of trash and stuff getting up there. The front, that is a an automotive type windshield, solid glass. And uh, it's just a good, it's frameless, much better than the old style where you actually have to lift the cover up. So this slide, like I said, is for the queen bed. And this is the storage under the bed. Now, you can see it's, it's four feet deep, and I'm not sure about the width. There's a drawer here. Different video, but it, it didn't come with a drawer. It just come with a four foot by whatever storage there. You store stuff in the front, it, stuff gets pushed to the back, you can't reach it, so. I made a drawer for it, different video. Slam latches there and that and the other storage. Has low point drains. I got the lid, the caps off now. It got really cold the other night. I drained everything out. Has three points of a sewage dump here. It is the black water, which is the bottom one. Gray water from the shower, which is the one to the right there. And from the washer and dryer if you had one be the one to the left and it tells there low point drain gray tank two gray water holding tank and sewer outlet connection all right this is another smaller slide this is for the kitchen and it has a slide topper as well vent for the range hood this thing come with Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum wheels, Goodyear Endurance tires. And they've changed the storage for the spare tire. It's not on the back, it's on a slide right there. It comes out the other side. Right here between these two is another dump. That is gray water for the galley, it's the galley tank. And that actually fills up pretty quick. 
the backslide. This is for the bunkhouse. Again, frameless windows and slide topper. Come around, 50 amp plug. This side of the back there, dual motor stabilizers. Those, again, a lot quicker than the old style. Frameless windows, Flagstaff Classic. Like I said, I think the only difference in the 22s and 23s is the graphics. It is wired for a camera, a backup camera. I do not have a backup camera. It came with a trailer hitch here. That is a 300 pound weight limit. So that is awesome. We carry this as a wagon hitch hauler, but uh, we carry that right there and uh, haul some stuff on that wagon. I put this here just for my my uh, American flag mount. Okay, everything that was on our older travel trailer on the driver's side is right here on the back. It does have a docking light. It's got an outdoor shower. The tank flush, hook that up. You flush out your black water tank. Cable and satellite hookups. That's where you put your antifreeze in. And this is your city water connection. If you want to hook your water hose up in the city water. This, if you're dry camping, this is where you put your water in. This is an awesome, awesome feature. I thought I was going to have to use the outdoor shower for washing stuff off over here as I cook because this camper does not have an outdoor uh, sink. This come with a water hose, a little small water hose. Hook it in right here. It does have hot and cold. And I hang that water hose here and I spray off the griddle or wash off utensils or whatever as I need to. If you feel like this ladder is getting in the way, you push those buttons, lift it up. It's got hinges here and it gets up out of the way. I really like the LED lights. They're bright and they're, they're nice. So the retract and extend for the stabilizer jacks on the back or here on the back. It comes with a griddle mount. This is not the griddle mount that it comes with. It comes with a 17 inch griddle and a griddle mount. The griddle mount goes here and stays on the back of the travel trailer. Um, I took all that off because we wanted a bigger griddle. Okay, coming around to this side, the outdoor kitchen. Came with this refrigerator. It is a nice refrigerator. 110. A little bit of space in here. There is a plug in back here. And I usually carry the batteries for my 18 volt Ryobi tools. And I have a charger that I've stuck in there. You can work those batteries to get them in right there. That's what I keep there. It just seems like wasted space to me, but it's got to be that way for it all to open and work properly. Nice cabinet here, another 110. These are metal coated uh, cabinet tops here and this as well. All right, here is the little table that goes up front there at the TV. And this is our hose. I changed this out and put that so that it would work with this griddle different video but it works great the lp disconnect that's right here for the griddle and there's one right there for the cooktop also the fresh water drain check this out fresh water drain right there that is a dump much much like a sewage dump you just pull that plug or pull the door and it goes quick fast and in a hurry whereas the old style you turn a little knob and it drains really slow. This cooktop came with it. We really like that. You can cook a lot of stuff between that and the griddle. A really cool feature here for short people, like my wife, she's five foot two. This is a motion detector light. You can set it to turn on by the switch, but you can also set it to turn on by motion. All right, water heater, exhaust for the heat. Okay, this is the main slide. This is the dinette and the sofa. Again, the frameless windows are on the outside. They're not on the inside there at the slide, but they're on the outside of all, all the way around. They're tinted. Two awnings. It has an awning here on the slide, and it has an awning over here. So the awnings 
have lights under the awnings on both of them. It also has what's called a porch light. This over here is yellow and it has outdoor speakers. The only other storage, this is where the camper's lacking, is storage. And excuse this mess, We've gotta clean it up. But it goes kind of deep there and it goes kind of deep here. This is under the dinette. Slam latches, a magnet to hold it up. That's, that's the thing these days and it's really, really nice. A really cool feature is you can open the awnings, put them in or out, you can turn on the lights. You can put the slides in and out all with an app on your phone. Really cool feature. Okay, and it does have a handle here and really, really nice steps going away from the little fold up steps. And it does have a step light here and a place to hold the door back. One good feature about this is this is spring loaded. So it will pull itself shut. So that, that helps a lot. And this one, whereas the wind would catch the one on our old travel trailer, this thing is stiff. And I like that. It doesn't just swing open. So I don't believe the wind is going to catch that thing unless it's a really, really hard wind. I don't think it's going to catch it and yank it shut. Okay, let's go into the camper here and i've already cut the lights on as you can see it's really really bright our 2011 flagstaff always seemed to be dark this thing is really really bright now on the slides there are several of these two here over the couch that is a push button as well there's one there in that area and then there's two up here in this slide Refrigerator is really, really nice. It's a magic chef. It's plenty of room. Uh, it hauls or stores everything that we need to store. Um, still got stuff in there, but it is not, it does not have the gas option, which is a drawback for us because we like to dry camp some. So uh, I'm pretty sure it is a 110 that operates off of a, uh, an inverter, which kills the battery pretty quickly. As far as storage, one of the best features would be the pantry. In our older camper, the 2011, it had one door, it opened up, it was very narrow and deep, and it was dark. You couldn't see what was in there, you had to pull stuff out to see it. And I like how this is wide, you can see everything, it's not too deep, and it's lit up here with these bright lights. The couch, not a uh, an awesome couch, but it is a very comfortable couch. It does not recline but it is a pull-out uh, bed. The wraparound dinette is awesome for our family. Uh, parents, two, uh, a husband, wife, and three kids fit perfectly there, and uh, it's much better than trying to slide in uh, on both sides and fit everybody. We always had to have a bar stool with our last travel trailer. This one, we can fit everybody around it. That table also folds down, and that is a bed as well. So the island, that's a good feature. Uh, my wife likes it a lot. She does all the cooking, spends a lot of time here. There is a heat vent that comes out of there. Works great. Uh, another plug-in here. This looks stainless. It's not. It's plastic, but that's okay. This is stainless. Island obviously doesn't move. There's plenty of storage underneath. Plenty of storage in these cabinets. And again, plenty of lighting. This feature here is one of my wife's favorites. This is where we keep the ice maker and a coffee pot. There's plenty of room between them. The sweeteners, coffee, and all the cups go up there. And uh, there's also storage down here. All of the windows do have the blackout blinds as well as the shade blinds. I left that one down so you can see how that one shades a little bit more. But the windows are tinted and uh, you cannot see in them quite as well as uh, as the clear windows and they do prevent a lot of sun or heat from coming in. All right, we'll step back to the bunk house where the three kids, kids sleep. This bunk folds up so that you can utilize this if you want to have more room here, more headroom. Uh, there are cup holders there in the top of that little back to the sofa. 
but you can pull that out and that makes a bed as well and uh a good place to store stuff here and another bed here now tv did not come in this travel trailer but it did have a place to mount it back here and hook it all up and again there's stereo and dvd here um storage and all of this i've got that moved away that's where our water pump and everything is at that little panel just slides over uh it was fastened with screws i've taken that out so i can access it and uh, we just leave that propped up there there's also a panel here that you have to take off with four screws and that is to make to access the back of the water heater and uh, if you want to winterize the travel trailer you have to access that i'm going to modify that at some point okay, because the heater is right there there's more heat pumping out of this vent than any other vent so when you've got the heat on uh, pay attention if your kids are back here because the heat's pumping hard right out of this vent it's not going to like get extremely hot but it will uh, get warmer here in this in this room because the thermostat is all the way up there so the heat's not going to adjust or cut off until it's warm in that part of the camper if you got the door shut uh, it's going to be much hotter back here it does have three of these max air vents man these things are awesome it comes on and raises up automatic you can also set this thing uh, on a temperature when it reaches the right temperature it'll go off it'll shut or uh, or to come on but my wife is five foot two she loves this there's three of these one here one in the front bedroom and one in the bathroom the remotes for everything are right here i added that i also added these cup holders i'll show all my modifications and additions later on and you have the electric fireplace and then the controls for the stereo and the dvd player is all right there has a sound bar and a nice tv that all came with it and of course your fuses and breakers are down here okay so it does have a solar panel with it and i have yet to dig into that and, and get all the all the details on it and learn how to use it honestly don't know that much about it um but i do know that there's an app i do have an app and you can get all of these details there on my app this is for electric water heater which is amazing the old style where the switch was out at the water heater that you couldn't hardly see this one's just right here you turn it on you're good to go gas water heater and water pump and tank heater uh, there is a wi-fi booster we do use that sometimes but you kind of have to set it up on a computer about every time you do it the slides there's four slides slide one two three the fourth one is up here and that is going to be for that slide the other three or for the bunkhouse the main slide here and then the slide here in the bedroom okay notice you can control your rv with the we rv app owning slide outs and lights that is a, an extremely cool feature i can use my phone to turn on lights put the awnings out and put the slides in and out i really love that feature because once i confirm that everything's squared away in here i can go outside because i always have a fear of a cord a ladder a toy or something being in the way of the slide man this is a queen bed extremely comfortable now we upgraded the mattress easy to get around you can walk around it plenty of room and uh, it's all because it slides out the bed slides out here so one of the cool features how many of you sleep with a cpap there is a shelf there and a shelf there and a little small shelf maybe for glasses or phone or whatever here same on both sides but these are supposed to be from for cpap machines as i understand it it does have a cool light here you turn it on it's blue you hold it and you can read read by it. it's a reading lamp it also has a usb plug in it so you can charge your phone also some good storage there above the bed 
and also another light one of the push button lights here in the slide and again there are speakers in all the rooms and this does have another max air here in this in this room now it is pre-wired for another air conditioner we're going to get another air conditioner for here in this bedroom and uh the sensor sensor preps right here that's actually why i've got this cover off because i was looking for the wires there's plenty of plug-ins around here some over here in the corner as well usb as well good place to charge your stuff up plenty of storage and this is cut back because when you slide this in the bed slides right under it another plug-in down here and the dirty floor that i've walked on i brought that in two drawers there we keep our towels and stuff there the bed raises up if i can get a hold of the handle and you can see it and that shows the outside stores there and i've made a drawer there that's another upgrade i'll uh, show that later on all right the closets here plenty of room and here as well now it is plumbed for a washer and dryer we will not be using that because my wife loves the extra storage she has a big closet i get the little closet but there is a plug in back there if you if you need to use that for anything coming out here i really like this and i want to put one of these in the bunkhouse there's not one to hold the door in the bunkhouse but if you hear that click that is a magnet a magnetic door stop that stays open just like that going down the road the bed comes in to about right here the tv up here now this tv did not come with the camper uh, we bought this later and installed it, it has the plug and the cable and all hookups up here there's a place up there to drill. Uh, it is, I believe it's aluminum so that you can drill into the aluminum. Be careful when you're doing that. You don't want too long of bolts or screws because these walls aren't thick and you will go outside. You will walk outside and see a bolt sticking out the side of your camper if you have too long of bolts. Be careful what size bolts you put in it. But this thing holds up great. It does swivel around. You would think you couldn't see it good from the bed but you can as long as it's out like this you can and uh, can you open that door no you can't open the door but my kids know that if they need to come see us come through the bathroom the bathroom goes right there there's a door and they don't come up here and bump the tv so just like that all right in the bathroom again cut the lights on there's two two lights okay the shower door seals here with a magnet and we don't have any splash out this thing works great the dispenser is an addition again i'll do a different video later on all right so we do have a nice size medicine cabinet the sink is not stainless it is plastic but it is it's a nice it's a nice setup uh, it's got a plug-in, plenty of storage down here. The only thing about this bathroom that we really don't like, this door does not lock. Now, if you're in a camper, it's small. Everybody should know where you're at and what you're doing. So they're probably not going to come in on you, but this door does not lock. This one, however, does lock, and it locks from this side. So... It's not uncommon for our kids to come in, lock it, use the bathroom, walk out, and then this door is locked, so we have to go out the other back, other door. So, not a big deal, but uh, I would like to get a different type doorknob and lock that. Also have some storage here. That's where we keep our towels and washcloths, and hair dryers, curling irons, and who knows what else down there. Also, there is a blind here that you can push up but it's just not easy to use because you have to open the door separate the screen door and then lift it up so i mean it's it's a nice feature it's just not easy access it does come with a fire extinguisher there 
and I didn't show the air conditioner. The air conditioner's here. It does have vents throughout. So if you close these dump vents here, then it will push air throughout the camper. But I'm telling you, this thing's 36 feet, eight inches long um, on the outside, front to back. So this is a lot to cool down with that air conditioner. Does it do it? Yes, it does it. But in the heat at the beach, it'd be really nice to have another air conditioner up front. All right, guys, that's it. Just want to give a quick tour of our travel trailer. I gave a tour of our last one, which is a 2011 Flagstaff. This is a 2022 Flagstaff, both bunkhouse models. So basically same, but a lot of changes in the last several years. It's a solid camper. It's all aluminum framing. It comes on Goodyear Endurance tires. You can't beat that. And uh, we have had a ball with it so far. Looking forward to using it again soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll get to them as quick as I can. Have a great day.